division fight. Well, pretty much every time out in the UFC, DC, this man has put on a striking clinic, and that is his methodology coming in here tonight. He'll try to keep the fight on the field. And that's why we tune in, right? That's why we tune in. We tune in to see guys that are dynamic. We tune in for the speed. We tune in for the knowledge of the striking game, the ability to set traps, the ability to find the jab, the ability to find the right hand, the right kick, the left kick, the knees, the elbows. He truly uses every weapon that he has in his arsenal to try and finish his opponent. You make one mistake, night's over. You cannot make mistakes against a guy that has the striking acumen yep. of this guy right here. And the jab is not as underutilized a weapon as it was in MMA, say, five or seven years ago, but he's got as good a jab as anyone in the business, and that is where all of his striking flows off of. We'll see how it goes for him in this matchup tonight. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC featherweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 141 pounds. Merciless. And now to his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 7 inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA. Bruce the Dragon Lee! Okay, protect yourself at all time, will be my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. So lofty expectations for this matchup this round one gets underway. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but on the other, truly a fighter who can do it. And that guy will usually have the advantage on paper. When you're a striker at this guy's level, that will normally balance out whatever advantage the other guy has. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Nice one-two combination there. Just unable to quite find that range. Nice head kick. He's going after the head. Changes his stance. 
Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. Got to find a way to move those feet. Punch coming. It's blocked. with that one. I mean, he's cutting them down the size with these beautiful leg kicks. He missed with that jab attempt there. He blocks the punch. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it, and they are fighting behind it real well. And he landed the right hand there. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Oh, he heard a bad with a jab. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. Huge block there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one up? There's no tell on that leg kick. Nice kick. Looking to land the leg kick now. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Let's Let's get going now. Just misses there with the left. Leg kick. Back and forth we go! Whoa! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. hip over when he throws that kick. Oh, big punch land. Ooh, head kick lands, he's hurt. Strike. Over and over, he's landed these big body kicks. While well, the body was wide open, his opponent took advantage. Kick to the body, lands flush. He's going to have to make some adjustments here moving forward. Oh, hands higher, hands higher. Back to his patented kicks here, but just out of range. Vicious kick to the outside of that lead leg. You gotta start checking these, these man. You gotta check these kicks, or you're gonna be limping around the octagon very short. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Oh, and he lands a punch there. Good connection by him on that. Great connect, so fast, so accurate. And watch the ability to land anywhere. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. So let's see how he responds here, DC, after a big, big round for his opponent, courtesy of those leg kicks. I mean, he landed so many leg kicks. It's hard to understand how his opponent is not checking any of them. What is he doing in the octagon that is confusing him so much? But until his opponent answers those questions, it is not on him to change anything. Continue to throw those kicks. Blocked by Lee. 
Well, he has landed some good shots, DC, but really unable to string anything together in terms of solid combinations. It's because he's not committing to it fully. He throws his jab, he may flow the right hand out there, but he's not really sitting down on the right hand. He really doesn't seem to have the intent on landing it. He's got to be confident that he's going to land, and he's got to really throw his whole entire body into those strikes. Lee going for the leg kick. He does not connect. and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Now connects with a right. Just out of range with that right hook. Beautiful leg kick throw. Just out of range with the big right hand. Over three minutes to go. Lee gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. All right, so he's doing a nice job here controlling the center of the octagon, keeping his opponent on the outside. Oh, I love it, John. I love it. And watch how his foot looks like a compass. His lead leg will always point in the direction that he wants to go as he tries to cut off his opponent. It is unbelievable to watch, and it's so great to watch a man with knowledge of the octagon control as this young gentleman is showing. And he comes through with a big knee. Slips. Keep your hands up for me. Come on now. Let's move. Let's make it move. Stay focused. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back to range. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. fighter making noise with a knee strike there. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Twenty seconds to go. Fifteen seconds remain in the round. previous round, DC. Those body kicks were so good, I kind of felt like I got the wind knocked out of me from one. I have been on the receiving end. 
on some nasty body kick, right? And all you want to do is start to carry your hands lower. Problem with that is the kicks start to look like they're going to go high. He's got to make an adjustment, change something, or this fight is going to continue to go down the same path. Oh, lands another shot to the body, beautifully placed as he continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Lee's kick to the body is blocked. Oh, lands a stiff punch there. Nice connection. Oh, nice land. What a tricky head kick. Continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Counter attempt here, but a miss. Blocks the shot. Big body kick. Wow, what a head kick. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Not there. Beautiful kick. Lee going for the body, targeting that area with the kick, but unable to land. Stay strong. Still in this fight. Let's go. Come on. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. That one stuck in. Nice strike. Oh, that right hand is on point. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Way to hide that leg And kick. both guys really throwing with authority. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Oh, nice counter right hand. You gotta check these low leg kicks. Changes his stance. You'll see a lot of this from this fighter. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Some fighters don't check a lot of leg kicks. That one was checked. And there comes the separation now. Oh, that's a nice strike. Now he switches his stance again. with the kick there, no pat on that foot. No shit guard, he's taking all of that kick every time he throws. How good is that right hand? Nice. Just misses with the jab. Shot. Oh, 
he has landed a high volume of strikes in this round and really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. The striking has been on point every step of the way. Careful to not gas out, but you gotta like the output here down the stretch. Nice stupid punch. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, let's take a look back at some of the replays, DC, and if you like the kicking game, that was the round for you. Yeah, man, he used his kicks beautifully. He managed distance, managed space, and eventually those kicks started to really take an effect on his opponent and slow him down. He has to stay the course next round. All right, so next round underway here, and you got to admire the stamina that both of these guys still exuded towards the end of that round. Both men put a particular focus on their cardiovascular commitment in this training camp, and it's clearly paid dividends here tonight. We have two legitimately fresh fighters here as we hit this next round. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Powerful leg kick lands. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Nice kick. And they separate. Oh, lands a vicious uppercut to the head. Beautiful uppercut. Shades of Mike Tyson on punch out back in the day. You couldn't take one of those uppercuts or you would go down. Mike Tyson, or maybe it was Super Sandman. One of those guys just had a crazy uppercut. Lee's kick is blocked. Just missed with the left there. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Under three minutes remain in round four. Let's go, guys, work. Lee going for the body kick there, but he misses. No setup whatsoever there. really limit the mobility of your opponent with those leg kicks. <laughs> Throwing that jab, no good. Big head kick lands. Big punch lands. Nice body shot. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Under two minutes to go. Oh, he lands the Superman punch. How about it? Good night if that landed. He has a commitment to kicking tonight, and it shows. Hands high, hands high. Came of inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. What a body kick. Pressure and get the takedown now. Big leg kick land. Combination lands for him. He is really putting his strikes together tonight. I mean, he's feeling himself tonight, John. He's doing a great job of putting everything together. 
All right, so the taller fighter lands a knee, and Daniel Cormier to my right, I can hear him saying, I wish I was a little bit taller. Thirty seconds to go in the round. Punch is blocked. Fifteen seconds. Score that takedown for me, man. It's such a fast leg kick. There's the buzzer indicating the end of round four. All right, so that's the end of the round. Potential adversity here. He's got a cut on his cheek sustained from that strike in the round. Now the focus becomes maximizing these 60 seconds, shutting that cut and preventing it from becoming a major factor here moving forward. All right, so here we go with our next round, and there was a lot for him to like defensively in the previous round, almost as if he's one or two steps ahead of his opponent in terms of seeing the strike before it came his way. He did a great job of moving his head as his opponent was attacking, but then when his opponent tried to string combinations together, it was his block defense that was really saving the day for him. Another knee there, DC. It doesn't always pay to be the taller fighter. In this instance, it most certainly did. That's a big strike right there. Ooh, blocks the shot. Oh, nice jab there. He told us on Thursday he wanted to break this dude's nose. That is certainly a step in the right direction. Mission accomplished. You are battering that nose. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. just continues to own the center of the octagon, and his opponent is just having a hard time getting off. Having a hard time getting away and finding... Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Under three minutes now to go in this one. Oh, big left! Gets hit with that hook. That one had some pop behind it. Big kick lands. Able to check that kick as well. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got to pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You got to just start letting everything fly. Oh, and he lands another punch there, and you can tell at this point he is going right at that cut on his opponent's Right eye. at the cut on the eye, just making sure he knows that I'm going to be targeting it. Keep your hands up, and when the hands go up, he will then change the target down low, trying to find finishes. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Game of inches right there, Damn. boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Lands with a right hand. Okay, let's focus. Let's focus now. Please kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. Beautiful punch. 
90 seconds and counting to go in the fight. Massive open lance for Quinn. Oh, an obvious limp there. His leg hurting for certain. Well done to block that powerful kick to the body. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. All right, less than a minute to go in round five. Oh, and he caught the kick. Punch on the top. How about that shin? Well, that body kick was there earlier, not there on that attempt. How clean is that jab by Lee? Fifteen seconds to go. And he connects with a punch there. We'll see if he can follow it up. He's landed that punch over and over again. What's he gonna do to follow up? What a fight! All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 50-45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon! All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that start to finish, and he wins a unanimous